Hello, hello everybody. And in this video, I want to cover a topic that a lot of people ask and I haven't had a real big urgency to cover it because frankly, I don't think it's really all that important, but uh, all you guys want to know, so I'm going to talk about it. And that is, what is the best temperature for my shrimp tank? And something I need to go over is with all my videos, I'm referring to Neocaridinia shrimp or also known as cherry shrimp. I use those terms interchangeably, even though most people think of cherry shrimp as red Neocaridinia. Cherry shrimp and Neocaridinia, I use those terms interchangeably. First thing you need to know is shrimp are cold blooded. Just like all our critters in, in our tanks, unless you got a dolphin or something or a whale in your tank, everything we got in our tanks are cold blooded. So shrimp are cold blooded, which means the lower temps, the slower their life cycle goes. The higher the temps, the faster their life cycle goes. So that means in lower temps, they're gonna eat less, breed less, grow slower, higher temps. They're gonna eat more, grow faster and breed more. Shrimp can survive a huge, huge, huge range of temps. First, I'm gonna cover shrimp in some of the lower end temperature spectrums and what they do in the lower temperature ranges. And then we'll cover shrimp that live in the higher end of temps. And finally, I'll go over what I feel the ideal temps are and what temp range I feel like I have the most success with in breeding my thousands of shrimp in my dozens of tanks. So now let's talk about temps and shrimp in the lower ranges. Shrimp can handle much lower temperatures than what most of the common tropical fish that we're used to dealing with can handle. I've heard stories of shrimp even living under ice. Now, I haven't pushed it that far but <laughs> I'd be afraid to do that. But this is what allows me to ship shrimp through the winter. Pretty much, at least for short periods of time, they can survive, they can survive the cold as long as the water doesn't freeze. Now, again, I've never personally took it that far, but I'll talk about some of my tanks that get the coldest in the winter. Tanks on the floor can reach the mid to upper 50s, the tanks without heaters. So. I live in a continental climate, which means I can get super, super cold in the winter and super, super hot in the summer. And where I keep all my tanks at, it's in the back of my house without the best insulation or the best airflow. So I have that problem to deal with, which means some of my tanks can get pretty cold or pretty hot depending on the season and what layer they are like the tanks on the floor get cold in the winter and the tanks up by the ceiling can get too hot in the summer because you know the whole cold air stays low and hot air rises thing yeah more science stuff but because shrimp can live in they can do just fine in temperatures all the way down to the 50s that i have found heaters are absolutely not necessary not necessary for shrimp tanks. But for me, I keep bristlenose pluckos in many of my shrimp tanks. So some of my tanks do have heaters, but all heaters use heat controllers. This is very key. Never, 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 ever, ever use a heater without a temp controller. You'll have far more problems cooking your shrimp than you will with them ever getting too cold. Again, shrimp are cold blooded so their life cycle slows down to cooler the temp. This means they grow slower and take longer to breed. While they grow up slower and breed slower at cooler temps, they do end up with a much longer lifespan so they do everything slower and live a lot longer. I have noticed breeding slows, slows down when temps begin to reach the mid to upper 60s and it will pretty much stop breeding altogether when temps start getting into the mid to low 60s. So. You start seeing 66, you're breeding. 67, 66 breeding is pretty slow. You start getting like 65, 64. <coughs> you're not gonna have, it. they're not, you're gonna very rarely see any breeding at all. When we have severe cold snaps in the winter, some of my tanks on the floor without heaters will get into the 50s, the upper 50s. 
The cool temperatures slow their metabolisms down to where they eat very little, become less active, and stop breeding altogether. But they are just fine living in the 50s. I've never had a shrimp die from being too cold in the 50s. So a heater is almost never needed for a shrimp tank. In fact, you are more likely to kill shrimp from a faulty heater that cooks them than you ever will, than you'll ever save shrimp from dying in temps that are too hot. That I know personally down into the 50s. So the bottom line is heaters just are not needed in shrimp tanks. So now I want to cover shrimp living in the higher temperature ranges. So now we got to go back to shrimp being cold blooded. They slow down in cooler temps, but they speed up in higher temps. In higher temps, shrimp will eat more, grow up faster, live much shorter lives. They'll even breed faster. But in my experiences, higher temps do not necessarily mean more shrimp. I have noticed in the peak summer heat months that just like my floor tanks get a bit on the cold side in the winter, the tanks on the top levels can get a bit warmer than I like. When I start seeing temps get higher than 80, especially 83 to 84 and up, I see a drastic slowdown in population in the shrimp breeding. I have a theory on this, and while it's not scientifically proven, it is what I have hypothesized, raising all these hundreds of shrimp over the last five years in all these different temperature conditions. The first part, the shrimp usually do not die from old age per se. They usually die of failed molts. The older and bigger a shrimp gets, the more difficult it is for them to molt. Every time a shrimp needs to molt, there's always a risk that the molt will fail. And obviously, for a shrimp, a failed molt means death. Shrimp raised in higher temps are eating more food and growing much faster than they do at lower temps, especially when we start getting into the mid 80s. Every time a shrimp molts, it's always a risk of a failed molt. So part of my theory is fast growing shrimp molt much more often, causing a significant risk of death due to failed molts. That means that in warmer water, even though the shrimp are growing and breeding faster, you can run into more failed molt issues. There, there are also other reasons. Most obvious is warmer water holds less oxygen. Shrimp do best, in my experience, in more oxygenated water. And that goes for all tanks, not just shrimp tanks. If your tank is gonna get hot, you need to have extra air going on it, and especially with shrimp tanks. Water parameters can also play a part on how harmful or not water that is too warm can be. With higher pH and higher temps, even the slightest amount of ammonia can be significantly more deadly than at cooler temps and lower pH numbers. My tanks are pretty hard with a decently high pH. So my tanks might be a bit happier, might be happier a bit cooler than other people's softer water and a lower pH than what my tanks are sitting at. Another part of my theory and why shrimp struggle in higher temps is when you start getting to the mid 80s, most plants start to struggle. I have always, always, always seen a direct correlation to how my plants are doing and how my shrimp are doing. If the plants are growing good and looking good, it's almost certain in my tanks that the shrimp will be doing good as well. Healthy growing plants are, in my opinion, one of the very, very best, most beneficial things you can have going in your shrimp tanks. I, I plan to make a series of videos coming up on shrimp and balanced plant aquariums coming soon to take a super deep dive into this subject. So now let's talk about the happy zone water temperature for shrimp. <laughs> The good news is shrimp can thrive in a huge, huge range of temps. We've already said that. But for me and my tanks, I find the perfect temp to be 72. So if you can keep your house at a halfway decent temp, your shrimp will be just fine with no need to worry about heating or cooling your shrimp tanks. I mean, I realize some people in different parts of the world have different <laughs> indoor temperatures and stuff, but I know in my part of the world, most people keep their houses anywhere from 68 to 74, and you're gonna be pretty good in, in, in those 
areas. So I, I go for 72. That's what I try to keep my house. And not all parts of my house, like I explained earlier, are at 72. So we do have some temperature variation, but it's close enough most of the year. Even better in my tanks, I see very little difference in my shrimp tank success in the temperatures of 68 to 80. I found anywhere in the range that your shrimp are going to be just fine as far as thriving and reproducing goes. So very little difference. I see very, very little difference in anywhere from 68 to 80. That's the happy zone. That's a big, easy to get to happy zone. So that's my target, 68 to 80. And you'll have no problems with shrimp being too cold or too hot if you're in the 68 to 80 zone. So let's close this video out about shrimp and temperatures. Temperature in shrimp tanks is not even something for most people to worry about. Like I said, if you're in that 68 to 80 range, you're golden. You are going to run into far, far, far more problems and kill way, way more shrimp with a heater that fails before you're going to kill shrimp for being too cold. But if you must use a heater, always, 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 always use a heat controller. I am trying to breed thousands of shrimp at all times. Some of my tanks on the floor have heaters because as I mentioned earlier, they can reach the 50s in the dead of winter. So I use heaters in my tanks that get the coldest just to keep them breeding because I'm always trying to breed more shrimp. But they use heat controllers 100% of the time and the heaters are only set at 72 to 70, which means they only kick on here and there in the winter time and it's only during the coldest snaps of the winter that they actually have to run for significant periods of time. I found you'll always run into more problems at higher temps with shrimp than you will with lower temps. Raising the temps for better breeding or trying to grow your shrimp up faster usually is not a good idea. So a lot of people think I'll just jack the temp up, feed, in, feed them a whole lot more and they'll grow up, they'll breed more and I'll have a whole bunch more shrimp real quick. That's not the case, at least not for me. <laughs> and one of my mantras I always say when it comes to neocaridinia shrimp and parameters, they need consistency way more than they need perfection. So the closer you can keep your shrimp tank temperature to being the same, the better it is for your shrimp. Just like all parameters, temperature is just another parameter. Consistency is better than perfect. So the better you can keep your temperature the same, the better your shrimp will be for it. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.